mom's name is Autumn, and she left me forever. Also, in the middle of autumn, when I was twelve. If you have lost someone who is the most important in your life, you are here with me, and I understand all the things you don't say. Today, with this doodling of breath with the autumn, I really want to share with you how it took me more than 20 years to get over my grief. And I hope that my sharing would help you to save lots of your time. My mom is a beautiful mother who is very good at singing, drawing, baking, and her heart is full of love even for strangers. I love her so much. I could tell her everything's happened in my life, including my love affairs at school. She was my everything, and when she left, I felt like the whole blue sky up above me was collapsed. I was blaming mom for years for leaving me alone in this world, and felt like this loss had been making my life so much difficult. I became super, super introvert, isolated from the members of my family, and had only the few friends who understood and supported me until I got 18. When I got 18 and left home for university, a whole new world was opened for me by a strong determination coming from nowhere. I knew I need to be optimistic. And live the best life as I can. I tried to forget my pain, and woke up every morning smiling to the life I wore heaven, and I did it well. I got most of the things I wanted in life and lived happily. But I still wonder why sometimes, when the memory came back, I still felt pain in my heart. One early morning at around 5 a.m., when I turned over 30, we were practicing mindful walking together with nearly 300 other people in Plum Village. As guided by the monastic people, I invited my mom to walk with me in mindful breathing. And you know what? For the first time after more than 20 years since I lost her, I communicated with my mom. I walked with mom. I asked her if there was something else she really wanted to do in life but could not do, so that I would do that for her. My tears rolled down as I felt like mom was actually working with me. I felt like mom was not going anywhere. She was inside me. When I look at my hands very carefully, I know those are hands of my mom. My mom is present in every cell of my body. She never ever left me. And all of a sudden, my heart burst into an awakening realization of unlimited grace I had got in life. During the last 20 years of my life, I had received so much love from my father, my younger brother, my aunt who treats me like daughter, my best friends who love me with the least expectations, my cousins, my nephews and nieces, my teachers and my colleges, and even love from the lady who sells coffee on the pavement near my office.
Even the determination to live a different life that I got when I was 18 was blessed by mom because her seeds of optimism lie in me. She used to be a very positive person, smiling and singing even in difficult times of her life. It was such a miracle for me that only by much from working, there was a blessing from nowhere falling into my heart, letting me open my eyes to see how lucky I am in every second I live. Mom is there for me. I feel love from every direction and I am very sure that it's love from mom which is now manifesting in every blessing thing happening for me. Whenever I got a blissful thing in my life, I know it was mom. Now, whenever I think about mom, my heart bursts into love and connection to her and I can never stop feeling grateful for that. It's the insight of interbeing that can liberate us from grief. We are not separated from our beloved. We inter are. Now, in my daily life, I touch, I heal, and I water the seeds of love live on in me from my mother. I vow to live happily for my mother, my father, and all living beings on earth. Well, it's a bit emotional today in comparison with my other videos, right? But there was a call inside me to share this with you. Because I know this may have somebody out there who is still struggling with lust. I hope my insight that it took me more than 20 years to reach today could help you in some ways. You are not alone. Whenever you feel love, you know it is a blessing from your beloved, from within you. And because my mom loved me so much, I love you.
Mm-hmm.